Uh, you're the expert. Take oh, it away. Oh, we're going to go and find uh, a couple in here. Let's go and see if we can find Jack. He's going in now. I think we might just come along here. And uh, we'll just wait for these guys to work it out to Jakey Carlisle. Jakey, everything all right, mate? You feeling okay? Uh, mate. Uh, yeah, a bit crook. I'm going to be a bit rusty tomorrow. Yeah. A little rusty, you'd be all right, won't you? Yeah, a little rusty. It's good I didn't have to do too much tonight, BT, so just please. Well done. Thanks, mate. Jakey Carlisle, just come in here. I don't know whether we're allowed her in here or not, but just, can we come in here? Is that all right? We sneak a little one with um, Jack. Aren't we allowed her in here? Is this your favourite spot? You come here after every game, after every win. There haven't been a lot this year, but yeah. you come in this position. Why? Well, this is my locker, and I just take the boots off, regather. So, mate, have some water. And How do you feel about it? <laughs> about what's it near? About, and about the win? No, good. I think the boys performed well. The younger boys stood up, so um, good to play Friday night too. Love it. Hey, Jakey, what's this about him with the private golf hole in his backyard? Was it about 100 metres or something? What's it, a 9-iron? I think he said uh, 120, so pitching wedge. And have you had a crack at it? Uh, yes, I have, mate. What happened, Stuff? Uh, yeah, he got he got it. I haven't got it yet, so... You, you haven't got you haven't parred your own hole or birdied your own hole? No, it's a hole in one. Yeah. I haven't got it yet. I've had the most shots. Jakey got it in. Six, six shots. Six so. shots. Pet chickens. you got pet chickens there. you got all sorts of stuff. Chickens get in the way or not? No, they're all right. They're just, they're just the way, busy laying. So. Uh, it, was a, it was a great victory, wasn't it? Yeah, no, it was good. Um, been a tough year, but it's good to get a win. Good on you, Jack. Thanks, mate. Well done. Thank you. He just come, you just come. Oh, oh shit. Jeez. I just... <laughs> you all right, mate? I'm just giving you a whack in the lung. Yeah, just took the guard off as well, mate. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, sorry about that. Come come this way. Come this way. I'm just giving him a whack. Come on, Come this way. We've got to sneak through here. This is the players' change room here. We normally don't, not allowed her in here. As you can see, have a drink if you want. Knives and forks and chopsticks. There's probably going to be something of the Asian influence, but in the meantime, there's just a bar or two and a bit of an energy thing. Come, come here. We've got to sneak right up the end here. I just want to show you something before we go back with the players. Keep coming. Come on. Keep coming. Don't uh, Nath round there. We've got to be careful. We don't go in there. Keep coming all the way down here. Yes, we're going to sneak up here. No one's here yet. So we can come in here now because the players aren't here yet. But this is just ice bath area, of course, for those that haven't been in here. Nathan Brown is with us. Come down here, Brownie, and just explain how how all of this works and um, and and ha how long do you need to be in these? Oh, well, it's pretty easy. It's pretty simple. It's just uh, some cold water. Yeah, but how long? Come on. Oh, 15 minutes, I think. 15 minutes, and ev is it com everyone, everyone compulsory to get in or not? Yeah, it is. Yeah, I'm not sure if um, many of the forwards get in, but yeah, they t we, they like us. The boys like us to get in there and um, ice up after a game, and then they quick to jump straight in the showers. What did you make of tonight? Yeah, pretty good. We haven't had a win like that for a long time since last this time last year against Richmond. Um, so next week's going to be even huge, so even bigger. Um, yeah, it was good. Good to have a. Big win. <laughs> it was indeed. Well done. Let's go. Let's go back this way. Come back this way. Keep it on. Keep that shot cl close and tight because if you're not tight, we could see someone we're not supposed to see. So we'll sneak back down here into the players' rooms. We've just got to check ahead. Here we go again. Oh, here it is. Look at this. What have we got? What what uh, what sort of food have we got here for the boys? Uh, we've got our chicken and beef um, veggie bowls. <laughs> Bit of a mixed up. Yeah. Okay. Well, there's chicken or there's beef. That's it. Oh, wow. All right. Thank you. Thanks for that. Come, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's keep going. Jakey Carlisle, oh, he's going off to hospital. Hi, oh, Jakey. All right. Uh, who are we going to get here? Tim Membry's uh, just here with us. Here he is right now. Uh, Tim, congratulations. Uh, personally and from a team perspective, it was a great win, wasn't it? Yeah, it was a really good win. Um, the boys got their pressure game going early and um, we were able to hit the scoreboard, which was nice. Now, is it true that your nickname is Skunk? And if so, why would that be? Um, oh, it's just a nickname I've had for a while, BT now. Um, I get asked this question quite a lot, but um, yeah, it's, it's not a good one. I'll just leave it at that, I reckon. Hey, one of your passions, obviously, football is what you do for a gig, but you're a bit of a hunter. You love to get out in the, in the woods and stalk a deer or two. Yeah, no, I do like getting away uh, every chance I can. So. You and Lindsay Gilby? Yeah, Lynn's been away with Lynn, so um, no, it's just good to get away and, and uh, freshen up, and uh, yeah, I love the high country. Well done tonight. Thanks, PT. Excellent job. And uh, we might get Jade Gresham just here, yeah. Tom Hickey's there, we'll just get uh, right here. Might just get Jade. 
How are you, Jade? Well done, mate. Good, good win, wasn't it? Yeah, it was good to get the win. Um, yeah, I think our last month's been, um, you know, really good. So hopefully we can continue that next week. Is your face all right? Jed Lamb have a, had a piece of you there for a moment. Yeah, we're having a good little wrestle over there, but nah, it's all part of it. He's a good fella and, yeah, no, nah, he gave me a good one. Nothing in it then? Nah, he's all right, yeah. So who, who, who's, the, who's the young fella you got here with you? My little brother, Tyson. Oh, is it? How, how old's Tyson? He's 11. Wow, that's your little brother, Tyson. What do you think of, uh, of your big brother, Tyson? Good. How do you think he played tonight? What did you give him out of 10? Four. 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 Hey, uh, what do they call your ham legs? I mean, what are, what, why have you got legs of ham? I don't know. I've just got big legs, but, um, yeah, they don't, you know, they always put them in the gym doing leg weights. I don't know why, but they're pretty big, so, yeah, too much. Yeah. Luke, how did you sum up tonight in a sentence? What, what would you say? Uh, Stool's a star. I haven't got much for you, mate. There's not much um, maybe, maybe two sentences. <laughs> um, no, it was. It was a good win. It was, um, I was on the way in, actually. I haven't played in a 10-goal win, so um, it was good fun tonight. Well done. Thanks, mate. Boys, just relaxing there. Might go over here and uh, find over here the, uh, the, the present over here. Congratulations, guys. It was a fantastic win, wasn't it? Yeah, it was a good win. Yeah. What, what did you What did you make of it in terms of you know what what the club can gain out of it? Oh, that's been the whole thing. You know, the back back end of the season, we we know it's been a disappointing season the first half, but we're really determined to come home, get some momentum, and you know, just what was was really was that that intensity and the the momentum we're building. So really pleased with that. And great support here tonight. Yeah. I think there were 34,000 here tonight. Yeah, very vocal, which uh, which has been great. No, we, look. The support from members and, and sponsors and everyone has been fantastic, so we're really pleased with that. Well done. Thank you. Uh, Josh is uh, over here with us, didn't take part in tonight's game, of course. Josh, oh, wow. how are you, mate? Hey, what, what, are you, what are you drinking there, mate? Uh, Dare Ice Coffee. We're with Tim here, so uh, our major sponsor. Do you want to try some? Oh, well, no, you, you, have a, you have a go. I would love to have some, but yeah. just... go on, scull that for us. See if you can get that down the, the hatch. There you go. Very, they've been great sponsors for you, Dare, haven't yeah. they? Very good, yeah, they're good. What, what about yourself? What's the, uh, what's the plan for you over the next few weeks? Um, so, yeah, hopefully come back next week. Um, missed the last two weeks with a yeah, fractured eye socket. But Did Matthew Lloyd have something to do with you in the early days, or was he just uh, pumping himself up? Yeah, no, I've, I've worked with Lloydy for the last three years, so, yeah, he's good. Great to be involved with the St Kilda Footy Club. Absolutely it is, and we're on for 2019 as well, so um, great to be a principal partner. It's very important to have sponsors like you involved. Congratulations. Well done. Thanks, Josh. Uh, very nicely done. Might just uh, we'll, go, we'll go up the coach's room, see if we can sneak in up there and find a uh, coach or two up there. And uh, you can see Matty, Matty, Matty Finnis here, Matty, the CEO, of course. What did you, what'd you make out of it, boss? Oh, well, you know, you're playing on Friday night. You want the team to come to play. And I just thought the way they brought that pressure and their hardness, um, that's what... Richo set the boys the task at the mid-season break to rediscover that, and they bought that in space tonight. So, yeah, really proud of the effort, BT. No, it's good. Well done. Yeah, good man. Have a look in here in the coaches' rooms. I'm not sure who's in here. Yeah, Danny Sexton's in here. Simon Lethlean's here as well. Yeah, no, can we come in? Is it all right? Just keep the camera pointed that way. No, we're going with you, Danny. You're the uh, you're the head man here. Richo sent us in to talk to you. What did you? Uh, you're going to talk to the players in about five minutes. What's going to be the thrust of what you might say to them? Um, we did a pretty good job with with a young team, I reckon. So we had Ross go out late. Um, that was potentially going to, you know, upset us a little bit. But Rice came in and had a really good job. Some of his tackling was really good. But I think Brian across the board we were quite young, so it was a pleasing effort to, to perform like that. Well, the players call you the Shermanator. From uh, is that true? Is that true or not? American Pie style. Yeah. From time to time, we get that one. Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, just great to get another win, isn't it? Really. Yeah, it was good. And then the challenge next week would be to, um, you know, it was good to get over the line today. And for the last month, we've had three wins. So I think we've turned our footy around. But we've got to look forward straight away to next week, which is Richmond, which will be a massive challenge for us. Yeah. Friday night crowd, 34, 35 here tonight. Next week, it's probably going to be 45. So full house almost. Yeah, and great for the Rewalt family as well. So um, the club, both clubs um, are terrific in, in, um, in supporting um, MRV. So hopefully a lot of people can come out. We can get you know, have put on a good performance for the crowd, but make some money for the family and the foundation as well. Yeah, Maddie's game, of course. Well done, Danny. Thanks a lot. Appreciate your time. Thanks for us allowing us access into the box and all that. It's been absolutely sensational. Uh, and uh, Richo, you happy? Happy, happy, Richo? Yeah, it was good, Peter. Yeah, the pressure was good. The that's, that, that's the best thing. 
Uh, well, no, it was a bit to like, but I, yeah, that was the focus going into the game. We've been a little bit inconsistent, and given that's a really important part of our game, it was... It was a nice slow that. build, wasn't it? It was. I mean, our last month's been, been reasonable. Um, uh, uh, you know, Carlton had, had some injury worries and lost Cruiser today, so they've been... You know, they've been struggling a bit with personnel, uh, but that gives young blokes opportunities. It was good to see our young blokes get opportunities, and, yeah, no, we, were, we were pleased. Uh, good to see. Three out of the last four, not bad. Friday night footy again next week. Yeah, no, we like it, Peter. It's good. Good on you, Richard. Good on you, Mark. Thank you very much. Let's go down here. Dylan Robertson just there. Hunter Clark down this way, down here somewhere. Right down here. We've got to sneak around the, the back over this way somewhere. Whereabouts is he? Um, he's here somewhere. Where is he? Is he, where is he? Here. Who, now, who you got here? Tell us, uh, tell us who you've got with you. Yeah, uh, I've got my brother, Angus, dad, Rob, mum, Fiona, and my sister, Molly's on the other side. Hunter Clark. So you've got the, you've got the family spread out. They, yeah. It's like they're in jail here, isn't it? No, they're stuffed behind the cage, but that's all right. What did you, what did you, what did you make of it, Dad? Yeah, it was a great win, really good. A re really good win, but what about the individual performance from the man? Okay, second half was okay. Um, thought he was going to have one of those horrid 0 0 0 games tonight, but he didn't, so that was good. This is an unusual chat through the uh, sort of wire fence hugging up there. Well done, Hunter. Congratulations, mate. Good job for you there as well. You can see uh, this is the Channel 7 uh, team here. There's uh, Richo, he's whispering Richo, hey, and uh, don't get the back of Duck's head, it's not a good look. Uh, <laughs> and Lingy, of course. Here, back to you uh, shortly, Tom Brown. We love your news. Uh, we're coming your way very, very soon. Simon Lethlean is with us, the boss of uh, footy at the Saints. Uh, what's the most pleasing aspect tonight for you? Oh, nice to get a win, mate. Friday night footy. Good access, I think, for Channel 7 with Richo in the box. Um, unbelievable times. access. Nice to uh, get some good air time for our fans and have a good win. Yeah, it is. And uh, what part did you play tonight, Simon? Are you just sort of sitting back and observing or how does it go for you on a game day? Yeah, I'm not particularly involved in the box. Just sitting there observing, helping out, talking to the medical guys, giving me the support, but uh, the brain is trust in charge of all that. I see Jaron Geary here anywhere. Can you, am I right? Are you... All right, up the back here. There he is. There he is. Thanks, Simon. Good on you, mate. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, having a bit of a chat to Dylan Robert and here. Jaron Geary is with us. Matty, how are you, mate? Very well. You go getting married and uh, first of all, congratulations on the win. Getting married in Portugal, they tell me. I am. W yeah. When? Uh, Mid October. Is this a sort of a, to discourage any teammates that might want to come to get married a long way away so they don't bother? Yeah, pretty much, mate. And I've got to come from a big family. Mum's one of 15, dad's one of 10, so get a few uh, numbers off the list. How's the new daughter, Harriet, going? No, she's going well. She's kept me on my toes. She's a beautiful looking thing, so she uh, takes after her mum, which we're, we're lucky about. Great. Absolutely fantastic win. Slow build tonight. Some really good individual performances. Great team performance, especially uh, built around a contested footy. Yeah, and we just want to win the right way um, and play the right way. Um, obviously had a bit of a challenging year, but tonight's really good for the footy club. And, and um, Friday night again next week, Maddie's match, so hopefully the fans come out and support that as well. Tough as nails he was tonight, Jaron Geary. Well done. Mate, cheers, appreciate well, it. Have a look at this. Armour, we might just get Armour. Armour, jump on, mate. How much do you... we we'll just get a shot of this. How much... I want to see how much you weigh. Come on, let's bring that camera in here so you can see the uh, the result of how much he weighs. How, but how much did you weigh? Be, how much did you weigh before the game? Eighty nine. Eighty nine kilos. All right. Let's see what you are now. What's going off? Hang on. Eighty eight seven five. So how much water do I have to drink, BT? No, no, it's all good, mate. Now, speaking of water, did you, you? You're a bit of a boating enthusiast, are you not? I am. What did you buy? I've got a four ninety Renegade Quintrex. Oh, you sound like a serious operator out there. You fish, or what do you do? Just go out for a look? <laughs> no, it sits in the yard actually. <laughs> Does it? How many times has this new boat been out? No, it's been out a few times, but uh, throughout uh, the season it's hard to get out, mate. But I love getting up to Lake Eildon and catching some trout. So hopefully uh, next week after the uh, Tigers game, I can pop up on Saturday. You got a bit of a fat lip there. Yeah, a bit of dolmio on there. That's all right. Well done, mate. Thanks, mate. David Armitage joining us there as well. And uh, go around here. Um, Jake Grisham there might just have a sneak in here. There's nothing in here. In here. Might go in here. See who's in here. Um, Tom Hickey's here. Tom will, might talk to us. What are you doing, Tom? You getting a rub down or you've just had a rub down or you're just talking? No, a bit of both. Just had one and just talking to Grish. You're, you're, you're also about to get married, is that right? Yeah, November 3rd, mate. So yeah. Gold Coast Himalayan. Who's, uh, who's invited from the club, mate? I don't want to... 
There's a few guys in here, so if you want to whisper it, you can. Uh, it's too much trouble, so not him, but yeah, there's a few boys, about six or seven of them. So Gresh, is, he's not coming? It's too much trouble, mate. So <laughs> six or seven boys are coming, are they? Yeah, yeah maybe more, maybe ten. So there's a few of them. It's, uh, it's a big camp out, Gold Coast Hinterland, so numbers are uh, not a priority. It's an interesting question, Jay. Would you, would you like to go to the wedding, mate? I don't know. Hickey sort of doesn't give me much, so um, I don't know if he, I don't think he likes me. So. What about Geary's wedding? His wedding's in Portugal. Yeah. I'm, you didn't get an invite to that either, did you? Nah, none of the older boys give me much, so I don't know. They're a bit weird like that. Tom, you going to Portugal or not? Nah, didn't get an invite for that one, mate, but we're both getting married, so I'll cut that. I don't think anyone's going to anyone's wedding here. I don't know what's going on. It's bloody weirdos. I'm not sure uh, they tend to... Uh, tend to uh, I don't know. They... <laughs> They, I'm not sure whether they're with each other or not, boys, as I take <laughs> that to don't, don't come back over Stop here, laughing. Brian. <laughs> Stop laughing. What are you doing? I think back, you, back to you guys. I think you've run out of uh, 